Hi, and welcome to the newest daily fee course in South Jersey. You ready for your quick nine tour? It's Ballamore. Ballamore made its splash at the Jersey Shore as a private club in 2001 and remained private until late last year when it was purchased by the owners of Scotland Run Golf Club. Those familiar with Scotland Run can expect the same level of service and conditioning at Ballamore. And it means Jersey Shore-bound golfers have another good option, of course with a private club field that's now open for everyone to play. Ballamore begins with a healthy par 5. 557 yards from all the way back, so it demands good golf and some well-struck shots right out of the chute. Those fairway bunkers pinch just enough to get your attention on the first tee. Long and straight is good anywhere, but especially here. Just two holes later, though, it's all about strategy, not power. Number three here at Balmore is a, a lot of fun to play. It's a short, demanding par four, 326 yards from the tips and 299 from the blues. It's a risk-reward hole that allows for any tee shot that you can imagine. If you're aggressive, you're usually left with a wedge or a short iron to a two-tier green. You also have to avoid the fairway bunkers on the left and right, and water that runs up the entire right side all the way to the front of the green. If you're lucky enough to get your wedge close, it's a great birdie opportunity, but if you land on the wrong tier, you're going to be challenged by a very difficult two-putt. This is an impressive hole because it proves that a hole doesn't have to be long to be great. Let's move on to number six, a par three that's 137 from the whites, 168 yards from the back tee. Miss it short and right, and it's a tough up and down, but we watch the right group here. This is for birdie. Sweet. The eighth hole is another interesting one-shotter and difficult. This one can stretch to 223 yards. Take your par and run to number nine, but brace yourself for another test. It's a long par four, 411 yards from the white tees, 466 from all the way back. A fade off that left bunker is a good play off the tee, and then it's a blind second to another green with plenty of tilt and a mound just short and left that repels anything but the well-struck shot. 11 brings another challenging tee ball with the best play to try to carry that left bunker and avoid the four on the right. Your second shot will be uphill to a shallow green, tucked behind a bunker that grabs more than its share of approaches. We now move ahead to 15, where the architect will describe his work. The medium length par four with a lot of options off the tee. The longer hitter can go straight at the green, and if he's able to carry the pond and the bunker in the fairway, it gives him a straight approach into the green, but there's plenty of room out to the right to play safe, away from the, the trouble, but what that does then is it lengthens your approach and it puts the green on an angle where the approach is a lot narrower and requires more precision. Plus the green is really deep, it's a three club green, so setting up the right angle for the approach is really important on the 15th hole. The last two holes at Ballamore are also all about choices. 17 is a sporty par four, only 332 from the back tee, 288 from the whites, encouraging the big hitters to blast away, but the two-tiered green is tricky, so a layup to your favorite yardage might be the smartest play. The home hole is a shortish par five, reachable in two by the big bombers, but there's plenty of risk to reap that reward. Water all the way down the right side, and a green that's not particularly receptive to long shots. But even from the layup area, this third shot is no bargain. Birdies here are well earned. Ballamore is in Egg Harbor Township, convenient to Atlantic City and the other shore points, or a reasonable day trip from the Philadelphia area. Again, it is now open to the public. On the web, it's ballamore.com. <laughs>